Again, this question is a repeat from one of their practice tests. So they just, for some reason, used questions from their full practice test in the blue book as questions online. So if you're planning on doing math test, math one test two from the blue book, I would not recommend you do this question right now. I'd recommend you just look at this video later after you've done this question. I will also, in the later videos of the series, when I go over the math tests in the blue books, in the blue book, I will go over this question again. So you can either watch this one or that one. Uh, but again, you might want to not watch this video if you're planning on doing a full test. The function f, where f of x equals this, is defined for this domain. What is the range of f? So you could remember that this is really just a parabola that's been shifted over to the left one and use that to help you figure out the range. And you could plug in the negative two and the two and see how high or low it goes. But I think the best and most efficient way to do this is just put this in your calculator and see what the graph shows you. So one plus x squared. Let's do uh, decimal, let's do standard. And then let's restrict it to two and negative two, negative two and two. So what do we get? So we see the lowest part, the lowest part of our range is when it hits the y-axis, or excuse me, hits the x-axis. This happens at y equals uh, zero, x equals negative one. And in fact, we can check our table here. So here is negative one. We start at negative, x equals negative two. We begin at y equals one. We go down to zero and zero is as low as we go, right? We don't go any more negative than this. We can see that in the graph. So right away, C, D, and E are out of the picture. Now we're gonna continue increasing until we get up to two and notice two, we go up to y equals nine. So of course that's going to be choice B. We can get rid of A. Notice if you plug negative two in and you plug two in, you're gonna get this one to nine domain or excuse me, one to nine range when you plug in those values. However, you have to remember that this thing is starting here, coming down a little bit, and then going up where it ends, you know, maybe right there. So you got to be careful by plugging in numbers, make sure you get the entire range. Um, so that's why I think plugging in the uh, in your calculator and using your graph to see, you know, how high this thing goes, how high this point is, how low this point is, that's probably the most direct and accurate way of doing it. So this one is B.